Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Guys, please refrain from sending any gift right now. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Coming, coming. All right. All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I have a have a Come out and come back. Welcome, welcome. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm only here, here for a few minutes. minutes. I'm not staying long. long. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm only here, here because, because Bonnie, Bonnie and Tito um, um, just came just up. Just came up. Mute, mute, mute. Mute, mute. Oh, man. Yeah, I just came off a video visit with her and she wanted me to just speak to you guys for a few minutes. Um, okay, all right. So you guys can hear me good now? I just, I just did. did. I just did. Okay. All right. So basically, um, she wanted me to just, um, let you guys know, I think there was a lot of misleading information. Yes, this is me. There was a lot of misleading, um, information and things could have been dealt with in a better manner than the way it was. Um, and first of all, let me say thanks to all the people who have been trying to reach out um, to me and um, also the people who donated um, to the first lawyer that was paid. I just want to clear something up, guys, um, so you guys understand what's going on. Um, first of all, yes, guys, this is nuts, guys, this is nuts. Um, first of all, um, I know some money was collected and was given to Toya and I just want to m make it clear that Toya did play, pay a lawyer. She did pay the lawyer and that lawyer was paid for an appearance. That was the first appearance that she had. The lawyer went to court. She was given a bond. Now, so you guys are aware, the bond was placed. In the state of Georgia, not anyone could just go on the phone and place a bond. It has to be a Georgia residence. They have to have a job. They have to been living in the state for two years. Yes, guys, this is Nuts voice. It is me. This is Nuts, everybody. This is Nuts. This is not Nuts voice. It is my voice. It is me. Um, so um, just for the persons who are saying it's not me, it is me. So once someone was there to pick her up when the bond was placed we were not aware that she had an ice old 
So someone was there waiting on her when the phone call was made by her that she was, you know, the process was taking a little bit long. So we were trying to figure out why she wasn't released yet. And that's how we knew that she had, um, she had called and said that she had the ISOL. So because of the ISOL, that bond was revoked. I am not going to answer any questions about the baby, guys. I'm literally just here to speak for a few minutes about Vani. So the bond was revoked. However, I know there's person saying that she doesn't have a lawyer and above all of the above. And that's why she asked me to come and address it. We have retained a very good criminal slash immigration deportation attorney for her. I didn't come on the platform and ask for any money from any of you guys because we didn't need any money for that. The first lawyer, the money was collected. I wasn't aware of it until after the fact. However, the attorney did receive the money and she did appear at the initial visit. Um, for, for those who are going to the jail, obviously you won't be able to see her because of the way it is set up. Um, but, um, she wants our sensation and people who honestly care about her to know that she is in good spirit you know we just have to keep on praying and let the attorney do their job she i just saw her on video um she is holding her head up you know of course she wants to be out but like i said we have retained a very good attorney for her and we're going to just keep on praying and move forward. So, yes, I wish um, the information that was given to you guys to begin with, she was never released. And I think that's where all the miscommunication happened with um, people saying that um, she was released and all of that. She was never released. We were never aware that she had an eye soul until the bond was placed. So that's where we are now. The attorney is going to do their job. Just know that for most people who say that they've been speaking to Vani, they really haven't been speaking to her. So she just want to clear that up. She hasn't been speaking to she, the people that you're speaking to myself and a couple other persons that are involved in, 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 in making sure that she has legal representation and that she's okay, that she receive a, a, a breast pump. So, you know, cause obviously she's breastfeeding and that she receive money on her commissary those stuff is being taken care of. I, I, I am going to, not everyone knows how to speak and know how to clarify stuff. So, you know, I know that everybody's bashing Toya and I wish, you know, Toya was able to clarify exactly what was going on. And then there wouldn't have been all this animosity that's been going on on live. But um, what is done is already done. We can't go backwards. We have to keep move forward. And, and, and the long and short of it is that we have faith that she will be out. We have good representation for her that is paid. We will not be coming on here asking anyone for a donation at this time. We don't need it. We did what needed to have been done. And, you know, I wish we didn't even ask for donation in the first place. Not bashing anyone that collected or gave money. We do appreciate it. But. I told myself I wasn't going to come in live to try to justify anything because we're really dealing with legal someone. This is her life. And, and, and it, you know, all this stuff. Yes, because she is always on social media, but some of the stuff that 
people been saying I wish they wouldn't have because it's creating a bigger problem for her case and we don't need that. So um, I'm not going to um, answer to any one of you that's saying kiss your teeth. You're, everyone is free to voice your opinion in ways you feel fit. It doesn't matter who has her phone. Just know that she has family member and people who are doing what needs to get done. And I wish things didn't escalate the way, the way it did. I am not blinger and rt they went off information that was given to them so if the information wasn't misleading we would not have been here now with this whole everybody having this whole animosity and and back and forth but like i said she asked me to come on the live and tell you guys that she's holding her head up and keep on praying you know for those who love and care about her keep on praying and i will update you guys further or the next voice you will hear will be her voice okay so i have nothing more to say um let's just move forward in a positive way um i i i, I know that um other persons were had good intentions i am not saying anyone had bad intentions so let me put that out there now i'm not saying our team is blinger people do have good intentions and do want to see her free but you know sometimes we have to just be careful of Just be careful. Huh? wasn't given to you guys in the way that I would have wanted it to be given to you. So that's why I came just to update you guys. Um, when I speak to her again, I did see her. We did have a video um, conference. She's taking it easy and she's trying to stay positive. Okay, guys. So that is as far as I'll update you guys for now. And hopefully the next voice that you hear will be the voice of Ivani. All right, everyone. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, keep her in your prayers. Just know that we, her friends and family, is doing everything in our power to make sure that she is home and safe. All right. Good night, all.